So the highly anticipated Bose QC45s are finally here. Now overall, the Bose QC45s are a great pair of headphones to consider, but they really excel when it comes to their comfort. But today, we're going to see how the Bose QC45s stack up to the Sony 1000 XM4s, and I'm also going to lightly compare them to the Sony XB900Ns, because the XB900Ns are on their way out, because the XB910Ns are finally here as well. Now regarding pricing, the Sony 1000 XM4s are the most expensive headphones here retailing for $350. However, these headphones routinely like to go on sale for $280. Then there are the QC45s which retail for $330 and just knowing Bose, these will might not go on sale as often. And then there are the XB900Ns which have a retail price of $250, but you can easily find them on sale these days for $150. And at $150, these things are a solid pickup. Nonetheless, if you want to pick any of these headphones up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch shelf down below. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know I can be very particular. So I'll only set my name on something that I'm really proud of. Now first, let's talk about these cases. Unfortunately, the XB900Ns only come included with a carrying pouch, so you might want to invest in a hard shell case if you plan on traveling with these headphones. Whereas both the Bose QC45s and 1000XM4s come included with hard shell cases. And I have zero complaints about these cases. They're small, so you can stuff them into a cramped backpack, and they're going to keep your headphones protected. But now let's talk about the headphones themselves. Build quality wise, these headphones are all on par with one another. They all have mostly plastic bodies with a stainless steel headband and they all have super padded headbands and ear pads that are wrapped in a leatherette. However, the plastics and leatherette on these headphones do feel very different from one another. The plastics on the XB900N have a textured feel to it, and I actually prefer the feel of the leatherette on the XB900Ns over the leatherette on the 1000XM4s. The leatherette on the 1000XM4s just feels a little more plasticky. However, the plastic body panels on the 1000XM4s have this slate finish to it, which does feel better. But then there are the QC45s whose plastic body panels have a smooth finish to them, and they also have the best feeling leatherette here. So overall, all three of these headphones have good build quality, but I am going to have to say that the QC45s feel the most premium just because they have the best feeling leatherette. But now let's talk about fit. Plainly said, the QC45s are the most comfortable headphones here for multiple reasons. Now don't get me wrong, both of Sony's headphones fit great as well, but the Bose are just more comfortable. When it comes to clamping force, all of these headphones are big head approved, shirts down below. But the QC45 have less clamping force. So if you've got a bigger head or if you just like wearing hats, then you might want to go with the QC45s. But then there's their weight. Both the XB900Ns and 1000XM4s weigh in at 254 grams, which is a little below average because most ANC headphones weigh in at around 270 to 290 grams. But overall, you forget that you're wearing both of Sony's headphones if you're working at your desk or watching a movie and these headphones aren't too noticeable on your head when you're walking around with them on. But then there are the QC45s which weigh in at 234 grams. Now I know this 20 gram difference will might not seem like a lot, but the QC45s are truly less noticeable on your head when you're wearing them. But finally, there are the earpads. Now the earpads on both of Sony's headphones are equally as spacious and they should have no problem accommodating average sized ears. But if you have really large ears or ears that stick out a lot, then you'll definitely want to go with the QC45s because their earpads are just way more spacious. But also, the earpads on the QC45s do stay cooler for longer because they have less surface area coming in contact with your skin. Whereas the XB900N's earpads do like to heat up the fastest here because they have more surface area. And finally, there are the 1000XM4's earpads, which are in the middle. But overall, like I said, all of these headphones fit fine. But the QC45's are the most comfortable headphones here for multiple reasons. They have less clamping force, they're lighter, their earpads are more spacious, and they stay a little cooler for a little longer. But now let's talk about tech specs. Now, all three of these headphones charge via a USB-C port as they should, and this is actually a notable upgrade for the Bose QC45s. Now, when it comes to battery life, the QC45s have an advertised battery life of 24 hours with their ANC turned on. 
Now, an advertised battery life of 24 hours is fine, but the Sony 1000 XM4s do have an advertised battery life of 30 hours with their ANC turned on, and the XP900Ns have an advertised battery life of 35 hours with their ANC turned on. And since you can actually use both of Sony's headphones with their ANC completely turned off, you can always extend their battery life that way. Now, when it comes to Bluetooth connectivity, both the 1000 XM4s and QC45s can be simultaneously connected to two devices at the same time, regardless of operating system. So, you can easily hot swap from one device to another, which is always great for power users. Whereas with the XP900Ns, they can only be connected to one device at a time, so they aren't the best for power users. However, when it comes to performance, all of these headphones have a zero latency across the board when watching movies or videos on your phone, whether you're using an iPhone or an Android device. But when it comes to audio codecs, the QC45s only have support for SBC and AAC. Now, SBC and AAC is going to be perfectly fine if you're just streaming your music and if you're an iPhone user, but both of Sony's headphones have support for higher quality audio codecs. Now, the XP900Ns have support for SBC, AAC, Sony's own LDAC, Aptex, and Aptex HD. But since the 1000 XM4s are newer than the XP900Ns, and since Sony is phasing out Aptex support on their newer headphones in favor for their own LDAC, the 1000 XM4s don't have support for Aptex and Aptex HD. However, just keep in mind, if you do want to take advantage of these higher quality audio codecs, you do have to be an Android user. But if you want to, you can always just use a wired connection with all of these headphones because all of these headphones still have an audio jack and they even come included with audio cables, something that takes a lot of courage, if you ask me. However, just keep in mind, the Bose are using a 2.5mm audio jack, whereas both of Sony's headphones are using 3.5mm audio jacks, and unfortunately, you can't use the USB-C port on any of these headphones as a wired connection. But now let's talk about listening to music with these headphones. I'm gonna have to stress here that the QC45s are made for a very specific type of person. The QC45s are better suited for someone who likes a neutral or vocals focused EQ. The QC45s put an emphasis on the mids, but more importantly, their bass will not physically rattle your head. So for that reason, some people will say the QC45s sound flat. Now the QC45s don't actually sound flat, their bass is just mostly on the audible side. So you're not going to get too much physicality out of them. However, the QC45s do have the superior instrument separation and clarity here. However, another very important thing to keep in mind here is that the QC45s don't have an adjustable EQ. You're stuck with what Bose gave you. Now, I think the QC45s sound fine, but I do wish these headphones had an adjustable EQ because the NC700s have one, so maybe they'll add it in a future firmware update. But then there are Sony headphones which do have adjustable EQs, so you can make them sound however you want. Now, the 1000 XM4s are the people pleasers here. If you like a neutral, EQ, they can do that, or if you like a bass heavy EQ, they can also do that. And unlike the Bose, you'll actually get some physicality out of the bass on the 1000 XM4s. The bass on the 1000 XM4s is going to be able to satiate most people. However, if you're not like most people and you really like bass, then you'll want to go with the XP900Ns because their bass is on a whole other level. Having the bass slider on the 1000 XM4s set to 10 is like having the bass slider on the XP900Ns set to 4. So the XP900Ns can really rattle your head if you want. Now, all of this extra bass isn't just a lot of dumb fun when it comes to listening to music, it also adds an extra level of immersiveness if you're watching a movie with these headphones. So Overall, when it comes to sound, the Bose are better suited for someone who likes a more neutral or vocals focused EQ. The Sony 1000 XM4s should be able to please most people, and then there are the XP900Ns, which have an above average amount of bass. Now, when it comes to the media controls on these headphones, this could actually be a deciding factor for some people. Now, both of Sony's headphones are using touchpads, and both of these touchpads are accurate and they're easy enough to use. However, if you just don't want to have to deal with touchpads, touchpads on your headphones, then you can always go with the physical buttons found on the QC45s. But just keep in mind, the 1000 XM4s are the only headphones here that have wear sensors, so they're going to automatically play and pause your music if you take these headphones off or put them back on. Now, personally, I don't really care for wear sensors on my headphones, so I just turned that feature off, but I'm just putting this out for the person that just needs to have all of the features. 
And finally, there is a voice assistant integration. Now, both of Sony's headphones have support for Google Assistant and Alexa. So if you want, you can always make this button a dedicated voice assistant button. And I think voice assistant integration is great, specifically if you're an Android user, but you can always activate your phone's default voice assistant by just pressing and holding on the touchpad on both of Sony's headphones or by just pressing and holding the multi-purpose button on the Bose. But now let's talk about the active noise cancellation on these headphones. Plainly said, the Bose QC45s do in fact block out more noise than the Sony 1000 XM4s. However, the Bose QC45s have noticeably more cabin pressure than the 1000 XM4s. Now, they don't have as much cabin pressure as the AirPod Max, and they have less cabin pressure than their predecessors, the QC35s. But with the QC45s, you will feel like you gotta pop your ears from time to time. Whereas with the Sony's, you barely feel any cabin pressure. But so that you can see for yourself, we're going to jump into an ANC test. So, like you may have just seen, the QC45s block out a little more noise than the 1000 XM4s, and they block out way more noise than the XP900Ns. Now, it's expected that the XP900Ns won't block out too much noise, because they are a pair of mid-tier ANC headphones, whereas these other two headphones are categorized as premium ANC headphones. Nonetheless, like I said, even though the QC45s block out more noise than the 1000 XM4s, they do have more cabin pressure, so you are going to feel like you gotta pop your ears from time to time. So for that reason, I still prefer the ANC on the 1000 XM4s. They still block out an impressive amount of noise, all while being more comfortable. But one pet peeve that I do have about the Bose QC45s is that you can't use them with their active noise cancellation completely turned off. You either gotta use them with their active noise cancellation turned on or with their ambient mode turned on. And sometimes you do want to be able to use your headphones with their active noise cancellation completely turned off because number one, it does extend on battery life. So I'm just guesstimating here. I think that if you could use these headphones with their ANC turned off, maybe they could hit a 30 hour battery life. But also sometimes your music does sound better with your active noise cancellation turned off and sometimes you just want to take a break from the cabin pressure on your headphones, which is especially true with the Bose QC45s. So, like I've mentioned in past videos, Bose, can we please just get a simple off mode on these headphones in the next firmware update? But also, please don't brick my headphones with your next firmware update because you are really good at that. But now let's talk about the ambient modes on these headphones. Now, I think it's great and all that the QC45s have an ambient mode because this is a notable upgrade for them. But unfortunately, their ambient mode does need work. For starters, you can't adjust their ambient mode like you can on both of Sony's headphones. With the Bose, there's only one setting. But also, the ambient mode on the Bose doesn't sound as clear, and it's very hard to actually understand what people are saying, even when they're talking directly at you. Whereas that isn't an issue with the Sony's. And one standout characteristic about the 1000 XM4s is that they have an active ambient mode, meaning that they'll automatically turn off their ambient mode if there's a sudden spike in loud noise, saving you from just getting your ears blasted, and then they'll turn their ambient mode back on once that loud noise stops. And finally, the 1000 XM4s have a speak-to-chat, which works a little like this. 
Hello there. So this is speak to chat. Basically, when I start talking, the headphones will automatically pause your music and pump in all of the ambient sound around you so that you can talk to someone without even a have to touch the headphones themselves. Now, these headphones will stay in this state for a preset determined amount of time, or you can always cancel speak to chat by tapping on the touchpad. Now, personally, I don't use speak to chat on my headphones because I found that it's very easy to accidentally activate it, making it more of a nuisance. And personally, I do prefer quick attention, which is found on both of Sony's headphones, where if you fully cover their touchpad, the headphones will lower the volume of your music and pump in all of the ambient sound around you so that you can talk to someone without having to take your headphones off like this. So yeah, I do prefer quick attention over speak to chat because I feel it's more intentional. And I think this was a great feature, especially for my constant travelers and constant flyers. And unfortunately, the QC45s just don't have any such feature. Now the NC700s have conversation mode, but not the QC45s. But finally, here's the microphone test. Now, overall, Sony's microphones aren't the best, but they are decent enough for a quick phone call while in a quiet room. And then there are the QC45s, which also have a decent enough sounding microphone for phone calls while in a quiet room. But I can't help but feel that the 1000XM4s do a better job of amplifying my voice than the QC45s here. Now, when it comes to blocking out noise pollution, even though you can still hear my voice, there is still a decent amount of road noise in the background, and my voice does sound a little shallow and a little hollow, and I can't help but feel that there's a little bit of static in the background as well. Now, the 1000XM4s block out significantly more noise than the QC45s, but my voice still doesn't sound super clear. And then there are the XB900Ns, which barely block out any road noise. And the same thing can be said about chatter. The XB900Ns really aren't blocking out all that much noise. But then there are the 1000XM4s, which are blocking out a decent amount of chatter, but my voice still doesn't sound super clear. And then there are the QC45s, which are blocking out some chatter, but my voice still sounds a little shallow and a little hollow. But with all that being said, if you're looking into getting a pair of premium ANC headphones and you want all of the features that you'd come to expect from a pair of premium ANC headphones today, then you still want to go with the Sony 1000XM4s. The 1000XM4s have an adjustable EQ, so you can make them sound however you want. Even though they block out less noise than the Bose QC45s, they have less cabin pressure, which contributes to overall comfort. They have a much better performing ambient mode, which I feel is just as important as active noise cancellation, and they also have a longer battery life. I just can't help but feel that Bose is holding the QC45s back to compel you to upgrade to the NC700. However, the QC45s are more comfortable to wear than both of Sony's headphones. They have less clamping force, they are lighter, their ear pads are more spacious, and their ear pads stay a little cooler for a little longer. And at the end of the day, comfort can be a major deciding factor for some people. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit that like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of these products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I've made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great.